What's your motivation style? I think Motivation is a really important thing. Well, what does it mean? Motivation sort of means that you are attracted to do something. And in this sense, we're talking about health and wellness and fitness and meditation and mindset and all the things that can encompass leading a really healthy, incredibly vibrant life. So what's meditation? You're attracted to doing the things that are important to do. I assume when they're important to do them. So do what's necessary when it's necessary to do it. But what are some key characteristics of motivation? Well, one, you're attracted to it. You want to go do the thing, and it doesn't mean that that thing is easy, but you're attracted to it. So what's the opposite of that? Well, the opposite of being motivated would be not motivated. And I think there are two ways to not be motivated. One, there is, I don't want to do that thing. And there is also, I want to do this thing over here, even though I know this thing over here is not, is it exactly the opposite of what I should be doing. So are you motivated to not do the right thing or are you motivated to do the wrong thing? Both equal not doing the thing that, you're, that is necessary to do when it's necessary to do it. When I talk to people, we really just kind of throw it all out and we just, we're communicating one to one and I ask people, you know, what motivates you? A part of my intake, my questionnaire is, why are you motivated to get healthy? I'm motivated to get healthy because I want to regain my health. I want to feel vibrant. I'm close to retirement. I want to travel to Europe and I don't want my body to hurt. Okay, so what would stop you from exercising once you started? Well, I would, I would have an injury and something that would just really just throw me off course and disorient my motivation towards taking care of my health. And then I ask, well, what would restart you when you were disoriented? I was talking to somebody who held me accountable when I didn't want to exercise because I was experiencing pain. And so see that, so you start, you stop, what would get you to restart? I think not enough people are thinking below the surface about motivation. We're just thinking on a real kind of surface level and we don't have those deeper conversations because motivation, right? You can be motivated for a business, for a relationship, for a loved one, for, in, in my world, being a parent, or being a son, or a daughter, or being a grandparent, or being a grandchild. So motivation, when I have these really kind of honest conversations with people, I'll ask them, are you motivated by an injustice? Are you motivated by, you know, my parents didn't teach me how to do this, so I'm really going to make sure that I take care of my health, because I could have been... X. And so they feel a sense and they're motivated by a sense of injustice in their past for underutilized or actualized capabilities. They feel like they could have been capable more if somebody would have gotten them attracted or motivated towards health earlier in life. And so what I'm asking you is, are there areas within the health domain? This could, look, it could be health, it could be wealth, it could be relationships, but let's just stay within health for a moment. Are there Things within the health domain that you can look at and create a narrative or use a sense of injustice to spark, to increase, or to just really keep your fire going, being attracted towards what's important to you. And this might look like this. And this is based on conversations I've had with people that have found this incredibly motivating as creating an attraction. So is there an injustice about eating poorly? I can't believe that these people are marketing this crappy food. If I'm not awake, aware, and constantly paying attention to what I need to eat based on what feels good in terms of nutrients and vitamins and seasonal foods, I'll forget about it. Why? Because I'm being marketed all of this other crap and it's just not fair. And when I talk to this person, they'll get themselves worked up towards being attracted to eating well. And that was the tipping point in terms of them taking more responsibility for their health and making it easy. I'm all about creating a path of least resistance towards being healthy. So another example is, I can't believe I went through, and, and I say this with all kindness in my heart too, because I know great practitioners. I'm... I can't believe I spent this much money on a chiropractor, this much money on a physical therapist, or this much money on a massage therapist, or this much money on an old trainer, or whatever the case may be, and no one told me how to breathe. Because when I learned how to breathe appropriately, and I learned how to use my rib cage, all my pain went away. And I don't understand why I had to spend thousands of dollars, 
and no one tell me about the power of positioning my ribcage. And they became really upset about it, but we were able to channel this upset towards one, gratitude for finding the answer, and two, maintaining a level of responsibility towards keeping their rib cage in alignment over their pelvis, not just squeezing and tensing their abs all the time. So, in the end, the moral of the story is simple. How are you motivated and are you learning different ways of making it easier to do what's in your best interests to do in every domain of life, but especially in the health and wellness domain. So if you like this, check out DominicSessa.com, check out my YouTube, Instagram. If you're on my newsletter, thanks for being here. If you're not, go ahead and sign up. We'll talk together. We'll, <laughs> we'll talk again soon.